What's up, guys? So I got the video for you. Finally, you guys have been waiting to see God Wars 2 sneak peek, the the second part of the items, blah blah blah, whatever you want to call it. Finally, we are here and we are ready to go. So without further ado, let's do it. So um, you've seen some of these. Let me organize this inventory a little bit better. Okay, so some of these you've seen, such as the Xerosian Scythe, the Amasted, Robe of Darkness, and whatnot. So let's go over the uh, the newer things you haven't seen. So first off, we have the Tharlan Scepter. And uh, let me show you the stats for this thing. It has plus 35 magic. Um, I don't recall exactly what damage boost it has, but it does have the best. Um, this is compared to a Kodai Wand Augmented, which is just at 30 and 15. And then the Ikthar one is at 35 with the uh, same damage boost, but a little bit higher. Uh, and then another good thing about Ikthorin's staff, or scepter rather, is that you have infinite blood barrage casts. I'm an admin, so I already have infinite runes, so I can't really prove that, but um, yeah, it does have infinite blood rune casts, so you can cast it. You still have to do it like a, it's not like a trident, but it is, uh, it is nice. Uh, there is the Serenic Bow, which will be the best bow. People have been wondering about this. If the um, Twisted Bow and whatnot is going to compete, uh, which one will be better? Uh, it's hard to say at the moment, because obviously there's not been a whole extensive amount of testing. Um, but I'm assuming that the areas where T-Bow is better, it's probably going to be better. Because T-Bow has this um, effect where basically any monster that uses magic, um, you, it, does a, it has a damage boost against. And a lot of monsters use magic. You, you're probably familiar with the list. We should probably have a wiki page... Um, that has all those monsters, which is something we'll have to do, but... In that area, it might be better, but everywhere else, it's definitely going to be your best bow. I'll, uh, I'll definitely use these weapons in a sec. So you have that, um, you have the Elven Battleaxe, which I will show you the stats. 110 crush, uh, 100 strength, um, has a little bit of defense compared to, uh... Um... Is that the... No... That is a raid box. Nice. I don't know what that is. It, it's something similar, though, if I'm not mistaken. I'll find it. I was completely wrong on the ID. Uh, so, this Tentacle is 90 and 86. This one is nice, 110, 100. And it is the same speed and does have the animation. Let me just whoa, show what this looks like. So, this thing is going to be pretty cool. It's also going to have a damage boost against monsters with high defense. So there's really, um, it's, it's really more so the ones with really high defense, not just like uh, Armadillo and stuff like that. Well, obviously Armadillo wouldn't work because uh, the range melee thing, but um, it's more, more, more useful against monsters like Vasa, um, Corp, uh, one of the God Wars bosses, maybe, possibly, I don't know, I didn't say it. Um, so there's a few uses for it, but I think just on its own it's going to be a pretty good weapon, and in those areas it might be... Uh, it might be very deadly. Um, so you have this uh, crept armor. Now this is kind of what we were waiting on with the video. Uh, so to actually, what the actual drop will be is I did not mean to loot that. Uh, is this uh, corruption potion right here? This is the item you'll actually get, and you'll just use it on one of your armadillo pieces to corrupt it. Uh, so this is what the set looks like. Looks pretty good in my opinion. These are what the stats look like. Um, for the most of this armor has negative defensive bonuses. That's what you're gonna find a, kind of find a trend in. Um, it's sort of like power gear. Uh, this is sort of a little bit tankier, as you can see. The big de the defenses are perfectly fine; they're not bad at all. And then the plus seventy-one range range bonus. So let's compare the stats. Um, yeah, f plus fifty-three range, and then you have plus seventy-one. So this is definitely going to be the uh, best of slot. And if you notice, there's actually no. Uh, negative offensive stats. You can actually use it with melee. Um, Zerosian Scythe is still the Zerosian Scythe. It hasn't changed much. Uh, the Demonic Tome is the uh, is dropped from Sliske, and it basically is the melee version of the imbued items. So infinite, infinite uh, strength pots basically. It does not do defense, and it only goes to 119. But uh, that should be pretty cool. Uh, if you haven't seen the armor in the first part, I'll go over to that. You have Robes of Darkness, and then you have the Amaskit's armor. So this armor has uh, has really probably been one of the more controversial ones. 
a lot of people don't like it. Personally, I, I really like it. I think it's a, it's a cool set. I think it kind of looks good with uh, some other items. Let me, let me get an outfit out. Uh, so yeah, I mean, I, honestly, I think it I think it looks pretty good. I think uh, a lot of the stuff goes together with it. Uh, there is a secret rare item. I'm not gonna tell you what it is, obviously, but uh, yeah, I think that secret item looks pretty good with it as well. It's a uh, it's one of those things where there's you know, being a server where we use quote unquote custom items where we repurpose things, uh, we're kind of limited. You know, we we have to use what old school gives us. We're not creating our own items the closest thing would be this you know black armadillo and that was as you know was kind of tricky it took us forever to well it's a, I, I couldn't do it that was really the short and skinny of it it had to be a dark thing and dark was um you know his country was out without internet and then after that he was just really busy so um it's just one of those things where we don't want to do it often so if somebody has a better suggestion i will definitely consider it but as of i'm, I'm going with it uh, get get used to it or don't use it. Uh, the stats, you can see it um, has pretty interesting stats compared to um, most melee sets. So as you can see, we actually have some negative stab defense, some negative crush. Um, it's definitely not a hybrid set. It's 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 a power set. Um, so it's sort of lacking on the defensive side. It could be paired well with something along the lines of an Elijah or something like that. Um, <laughs> Arcane would look good with the aesthetics, but uh, but no, 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 no. So there's there's that. And there's the animal battle axe. Let's uh, let's do a little let's do a little maxin. Let's do a little maxin. Let's go over to the lizard man cave. Uh, this was in the new update. There's actually um, a new another part of the update that I'm actually gonna make a separate video on. Um, so just stay tuned for that. Should be tomorrow or the next day. Let us uh, pot up. Let's see what this setup can do. This is no... Let me find a ring. Alright, so I mean, you've got like the peak... you got like the peak bonus, except for the secret item, but I'm not going to tell you what that is, so... Uh, let's uh, see if we can't hit this bad boy. I would expect it to just be casually hitting 50s and 40s and whatnot. I, I think it definitely has that potential. Uh, one downside is, if I'm not mistaken, isn't... Um, did I make this armor all styles? Oh, I guess it is style styles. Never mind. I thought for, for, for a second, but I thought I might have made it to where it only worked with Slash, but no, it does work with all styles. So I'll definitely have to tweak these items around. I did do a contest, and I was going to let the, the winner pick what item they wanted to mess around with. That has not been done yet, people were wondering. That is still a thing. I like the animation. I was happy that it was, that was pretty easy to get and everything. You can definitely kind of see that with uh, so much strength bonus and whatnot, you might want a little more accuracy. Maybe, uh, I don't really know what you're here with. 52 is nice. Question is, though, can this beat something like Rapier? And the set effect, oh, that was a two hit right there, that was crazy. The set effect, oh, well, not the set effect, it's one item, but the, the, the bonus of it where it hits more on, on monsters with high defense is pretty cool. I have not coded that, so that's why I can't show you it, but trust me, that's what it'll do. There's that. If you were unfamiliar with what the scythe did, I'll show you that a little bit. The scythe, um, I haven't decided exactly on how fast I want to make it. Where is it at right now? It's pretty quick right now. That's kind of where it's leaning. This thing is definitely going to be uh, a lot better than the battle axe, sure. Um, and then it has this, this special effect where it, it acts like a G-Maul. It has to definitely be balanced. A little bit better. I'm definitely gonna spend a little bit more time making sure it's good and whatnot. Cause obviously that right there is is dangerous. Let's, uh, let's try to get a, let's, uh, it. Let's uh. It yeah yeah done. 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 Um. Let's get the range gear on. Let me use my. And so we got the. Uh, what would be the best range gear? I need a ring. Uh, so this is the best set. The cape kind of throws it off, but it is the best cape. It might even be cool to just kind of use the old school Ava's cape if you're willing to. It all depends on your uh, fashion scape preferences, or if you're one of those uh, one of those uh, rich kids. If you're a rich kid, you can buy one of the uh, monkey ones because if you didn't know, the monkey actually has the exact same stats as an assembler with in terms of range bonus, anyways. 
So the monkey is the ultimate fashion skill. Look at that. Look at that combo right there. Let's let's do some damage. Let's see. Let's get Buddha. Let's see if we can't hit. This is my first testing with this bow, by the way. So I am not 100 percent sure. You know, if this will be the final of what you're going to see. I think right now it could use some more. Um, I was basing it off of the crystal bow, which is kind of a, a lower tier bow anyways, so don't be discouraged by lower hits or anything like that, but like I said, this will, this will definitely be a test here, but this is, uh, I like the speed of it. It does have unlimited arrows, you don't need a bow, or you don't need a thing or anything. Um, and then the, uh, I'm not going to do magic. I, I, I don't want to do magic. I'm lazy, I'm not doing magic. But it's going to be cool. So, yeah, God of Wars 2 is around the corner. Um, if you didn't hear, I actually moved it back three days, so it's not going to be on the 28th. It is going to be on the 1st of October. So it's still coming out soon, just three days, a little bit later. That's just to give us more extra time to, f to finish everything up. I apologize for the fact that this video took ages to make when I first announced it, or that I was going to be doing it. Um, hopefully, hopefully we can get videos out quicker. I do have uh, a Rise of the Six video I want to make, so that should be pretty fun. But yeah, if you have any feedback, any suggestions, let us know because the time is is, is not nigh, nigh near. Not at all. Who cares? 